we've all noticed stars twinkling in the night sky. Wait, who's running my graphics right now? Is that Todd? Todd, does that look like a night sky to you? Thank you. There's even a popular lullaby, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, written about this. This phenomenon occurs naturally due to starlight traveling through moving air. This video will focus on active optics, a set of technologies used in modern telescopes to minimize imperfections in an image due to atmospheric turbulence. Stars twinkling is due to the light traveling through moving air. Refraction occurs because there are slight variations in density and temperature between different pockets of moving air. Astronomers often refer to the seeing on a given evening, describing how much twinkling is occurring due to atmospheric effects and the present quality of observing. We can illustrate a related phenomenon with the apparatus shown here. We turn on the laser and aim it directly at a target placed on the wall. Here at Nebraska, we had the perfect target in mind. Look at that, a perfect kill shot. Note that our laser spot is intense, steady, and focused. We also have a heating plate that we can turn on underneath the laser light. We're now gonna give that hot plate a couple minutes to warm up, but don't worry. Thanks to the magic of video editing, this will only take a couple seconds. Let's explore this in a peer instruction question. What will happen to the laser spot when the heating plate warms up? Students currently in a classroom should follow normal procedures or your instructor's guidelines. Viewers who are not in a classroom should record your vote and explain your reasoning on a piece of paper. Please pause this video and answer the question. The hot plate is now quite warm. Note that the laser spot is at a slightly different location. This is due to refraction as the light bends as it enters and leaves the warmer, lower density air. Note that the spot dances around as well. This is due to the convection currents in the air carrying away heat energy from the hot plate. If you answered C, that the laser pointer will move off the bullseye and dance around due to currents in the air, you're right. We don't need a science lab to see this phenomenon in action. We can see something similar in our daily life. Just take a look at this water heating up on the stove. Notice how the heat coming off the water refracts the light and makes everything around it look a little different. This is refraction in action. This crudely illustrates how it is very important to minimize temperature differences between telescopes and the environment. We want a telescope to be at exactly the same temperature as the surrounding air to eliminate small convection currents carrying away the heat. Most modern large telescopes go farther employing active optics, actively shaping the telescope's mirror to minimize the negative effects on images due to temperature, wind, and mechanical stress on the mirror. The first fully active telescope was the European Southern Observatory's 3.5 meter New Technology Telescope, which began operating in Chile in 1989. The temperature and airflow around its mirror are precisely controlled. The new technology telescope's thin mirror is actively shaped during observations by computer-controlled actuators that provide varying forces. The actuators get input from an image quality detector and keep its mirror in optimal shape. All large telescopes make use of active optics today. More teaching materials can be found on the web at astro.unl.edu.